hair raising. As Megan screams in panic, as William investigation spills the horrifying details of Archie's birth. Prince William has just come out with his accusations against Prince Harry and that accused him of being blatantly disrespectful towards the royal family and that him by shoving Prince Harry into the limelight too young. As Vanity Fair's Katie Nicole issued these claims in an interview with the US Weekly. As she had started off by saying, I had a huge impact on him, on Catherine, on their young family. I put them in that prime sort of center, as it moved them center stage far sooner than they would have otherwise have been. As before concluding that she also added, a lot of it is how he chose to do it and what William had saw as a great disrespect to the institution and to his own family and to his grandmother. As Prince Harry and Meghan Markle had told a rather big lie about their son Archie Harrison's birth, and we all believe them. As on May 6, 2019, Prince Harry had famously stood in front of the media announcing the birth of his firstborn son with wife Meghan Markle. As though, unnamed at the time, Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor had safely arrived at the new dad was over the moon to finally be a father. But what we didn't know was that the Duke of Sussex was keeping a little secret at the time that he faced the cameras. And according to royal historian Robert Lacey, Harry and Meghan went about their birth announcement their own way, as they usually do, in order to protect their new son from the prying eyes of the media and the aggressive paparazzi who were eager to snap the first shot of the new parents and bub. In his new book, Battle of Brothers, William and Harry, the inside story of a family in tumult. Robert explains that Archie was born at 5.26 a.m. on May 5, 2019, but the palace didn't announce their arrival until 2 p.m. that afternoon. As further to this, while the palace still did release a statement that implied that Meghan had just gone into labor, the reality was that mum and bub were already back at home, resting. Oh, sneaky. As meanwhile, a photo circulating online believed to be the Duke and the Duchess of Sussex's baby, Archie Harrison, that it turned out to be a fake. As the image shows an adorable baby with red hair posing on a bed while wrapped in a green blanket and was even shared on Twitter pages claiming to belong to Prince Harry and Meghan, despite them never announcing the official Twitter account, although they do have their own Instagram accounts. As the image was accompanied by a caption, the Duke and the Duchess of Sussex hope everyone enjoys these new photos of Archie as much as they do. However, while many fans believe that they were finally getting a good look at a new royal baby, it turns out that the little tot is in fact the newborn son of German fitness influencer Bella Cruz, who shared the photo of her boy, Maddox Nino, two weeks ago on her Instagram page. And on hearing the news that her baby has been used in a hoax, she had told the son, What an insolent behavior. As recently, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry must have been through a lot with a traumatic incident involving Archie, says the expert. As the royally obsessed host, Roberta Filiato says, The biggest revelation that everyone is talking about is that Archie in South Africa an incident with a nursery had caught on fire. I think especially that this stands out to me because we know from Finding Freedom that they had a really awful experience with their first nanny. As there was a night that the nurse and they had won't say that happened, but they say that something really awful happened and they had to fire her right away. As she had added, that the couple must have been so traumatized. Miss Filiotto had continued. Then, to come and see a weird freak accident happen, what on one of the first days they are in South Africa, and they have to go on to another engagement. And that was a huge reveal from Megan, she admitted. As Megan opened up on her son's nursery, catching this week on her podcast Archetypes, as the Duchess revealed that she was on tour in South Africa with her husband Harry when the incident had happened. As Megan revealed that we finished the engagement and we get all in the car and they say there's been a fire at the residence. What? 
there's been a fire in the baby's room. The Duchess added, Everyone is in tears. Everyone is shaken. And what do we have to do? Go out and do another official engagement. I said this doesn't make any sense.